Empower's Folk Arts STEM Center proudly hosted the 9th Annual Science and Engineering Fair aimed at celebrating the innovative spirit of young minds shaping the future. The event featured over 15 groundbreaking projects meticulously selected by a panel of skillful judges. The top prize went to Lange Otayi and Athnael McConnell for their ingenious visual impairment take eyeglasses designed to empower individuals with visual impairment. This is aimed to give the emergency situation to the police or to the family of the blind person. These two projects are just used for navigation to make their life, to make their movement smooth. So if they get something obstacle under one meter, they give an alert. You are this uh, here, there is a buzzer up here. Here is a buzzer. And here also, there is a buzzer. So if they get something obstacle under one meter, they get an alert. And this one is uh, emergency alert system. It uses here uh, GSM module, GSM 900A module uh, in here, push button. And under them, there is Arduino, Arduino Uno. So if you press this push button, uh, it gives two messages. And then it makes a phone call to his family or another emergency organizations. Second place was awarded to Emmanuel Bello and Nabiat Samuel for their Hydro Smart Controller, an app that addresses water leaks, a vital step towards resource conservation. Our project mainly uh, focused on water management system, which control uh, leakage and the quality of the water. And uh, by using flow sensor, uh, solenoid and turbidity sensor. So the way that we control the water, the the leakage is by using the water flow sensor. So as we can see, we use the flow sensor from the starting point to the ending point, uh, water flow sensor. So the way that we control the leakage is when if a leakage is happened in this area, the amount of the water that passes to the second water flow sensor will decrease. So by this means, the, the leakage is happened in this area. So as we can see here, we have the water line, uh, the water line map, so the water station easily control the water pipes to uh, if a leakage has happened in this area, it will blink on this area, so uh, leakage has happened in there, so it will blink the map, the pipe will blink in here, so by adding the phone number of the maintenance, we can send the map location to the maintenance and the maintenance will fix the pipe, so it will reduce the amount of the water. Daniel Dagaraga and Bez Anatsaleshi secured third place with their Clean Air Pro, which monitors air pollution to safeguard public health. Our project name is Clean Air Safe Pro. In this project, we want to dedicate for people that are working in the uh, flower farming. Our projects have uh, several components, like this is a MEQ3 gas sensor. It will sense a chemical that's found in that factory. The buzzer will make a shout that helps us to help, that helps the people to get out of that place, uh, like this. And uh, if, in some case, if there is a deaf person who can't uh, hear this voice, uh, this LECD will display you are in danger uh, to, to inform that they found in danger area. And uh, we have uh, an door and uh, window and a door, uh, they will automatically open. That helps the people to get out of that place. And uh, we have a fan that will automatically on to get out that chemical automatically from that place. If fire is appearing in that place, it will notify the, uh, the boss. And in, as you can see, uh, there is a water ocean that helps us when we on it, it will, uh, it will spray uh, a water. Our project is Amharic Sign Language Interpretation. So what we have made is a software, which is an app form. What this app does is, it, uh, as the name suggests, is inter interpret sign language. Uh, we did this by, in two, by using two methods. 
The first one is turning input into sign language. This, this is done using, it can be done using image and video form. Uh, simply the user, the user inputs a text or a voice and it translates it to sign language easily in the form of an, in the form of an image or a video. The other one is live sign language interpretation. Uh, to do this, we use uh, we use the we use the machine le we use machine learning to create a neural network model to to easily predict what the what the user is trying to say. Our project title is Physopower. Uh, our project mainly focuses on the problem of electricity in the sub-Saharan countries, including our country, Ethiopia. These generators are actually producing electricity. Uh, as we can observe here, there is a small box that contains the physioelectric generator. Uh, this is the physioelectric generator. It is a small material, as you can see. And uh, when a mechanical pressure is applied, you might not see, but there's a simple light that came out of the LED light, and this shows that there's a real electricity produced by this generator. For example, if we fix this in a simple load, like we can see here, uh, if someone step on it, if a, if a vehicle goes on it, we can simply generate electricity like without doing nothing. When a person goes on it, or when a vehicle step uh, goes on it as well, uh, electricity can be generated passively. There are readings here that shows us that there is electricity, there is electricity, there is power produced from just applying this small uh, pressures and stress, as you can see here.